the way. I always thought he was. Yeah. 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 If we sit here, we'll block your. Sure. Can we go here? Okay. Yeah. So then make, uh, let's see if you can see our. Cool. Okay, so here's the exercise. First, you're going to decide on the character. You're going to decide on the character that you all can talk about in your group. Who is it? Michelle or. Oh. Yeah. Decide quickly by discussing among yourselves who of these two people is going to be more interested. Yeah, it's just... 
It's like okay. super loud. Yeah. Sorry. I'm part of this group, but I've got to take care of technology here. Okay. Yeah. Take one true thing. She goes camping in mountains. One true thing. Who's that person? He likes to sail. He likes to sail. Ming. Yeah. You want? You you want? Yeah. Ming. You want? Yeah. Close enough. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to say it like a thousand times. Can you so you can say it again? My name. Mm hmm. Ming Yuan. Ming Yuan. Ming Yuan. Okay. Ming Yuan. One true thing, he likes to sail. Okay, the rest of you in your group are gonna make up one thing that is not true about that person, okay? It's a, one thing is a fact. Now you're gonna make something up, something completely ridiculous, something that you saw, something you overheard, something that was a rumor, something that you observed that someone else told you. We're looking at rumors, scandals, secrets. Okay, the one true thing has to still be true. You can't change the one true, true, true thing. Okay, each one of you is gonna make something up. Write it down. Ready? The purpose of this exercise is to remind you to listen. Because if you try and come up with an idea in your own head, you have one idea. And if you listen to everyone else, you have lots of ideas. So the rule here is no piggybacking. So one person can't say, I saw him with Jackie Chan. And the next person says, uh, I saw him push Jackie Chan off the boat. That's piggybacking, okay? So one idea, one idea, one idea, no piggyback. You have to go, you have to share the idea you, should, you wrote down. Okay? Ming Yuan likes to sail. Ant. He's a ventriloquist. He's a ventriloquist. Ant. Uh, he sailed to Syria and rescued 100,000 refugees. Rescued 100,000 refugees from Syria. Good. He grows a vegetable garden on the sailboat. <laughs> okay, he grows a vegetable garden. He was sailing with Karen and Linda. Sailing with Karen and Linda. Ooh. I want to know, okay? He won the America's Cup in 2013. For sailing? Yeah. Woohoo! Congratulations, okay? Uh, while teaching Chinese. He was teaching Chinese while he was sailing? Okay. And he has three girlfriends in three cities. Oh, so he sails to one, he has one girlfriend, sails to another one, has another girlfriend, sails to another one, has another girlfriend. Okay, Shannon? He was dancing on his boat with Shakira. Dancing on a boat with Shakira. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you hear that went? Uh, he, why do you want me to pick three one girlfriends on three ports? Not true. <laughs> <laughs> one uh, so World Cup for America's Cup for sailing? Yeah, that's not true. Either. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> Which one do you like? Them are it's your story. Like. Which one of these do you like? Some people. Rescue people in Syria. Okay. So do you see that the story could have gone in a lot of directions? And one of those answers was more creative than whatever I thought was going to happen, all right? So the exercise is only for that. Remind you before we do the next part to listen. Okay, over here, what do we got? Catherine. 
character, when you compliment your character, you can compliment her for being pretty, attractive, but then exaggerate. For being smart, what else? And then exaggerate, what else? Special, instead of normal, what else? Nice. Nice? Okay, nice is good. She can be strong. Want some muscles? <laughs> okay, you can do strong. Try not to um, get too stereotypical so that you're always telling girls are pretty and boys are smart. Like, just try and mix it up. She's brave. Brave. She's a good camper, too, right? Very so expert. I like going with whatever they're experts in. But then every time I change it up, I can do some of the same things, change it up. All right, we're going to practice th this for like a minute. Uh, Give her my turn. Turn. You're getting them to tell you how awesome she, her, you how awesome she is. Just circling basically what we already know. We're not circling because these are words they already know. None of these students don't already know how to say smart, special, strong, brave. You're not circling, you're talking. Okay, am I pushing the story any nope. further? No, nope, no nope, story. We're not going any further? Yes. I'm just making her feel good. And you're problem? Out, Is there a problem? Making Catherine, nope. She's you're not making like... making Catherine feel good. Okay, so it's just, she said she's her for 60 seconds. And okay. And I'm going to talk about what great passion she has. <laughs> uh, okay, class. Exactly. Who is this? Catherine. Uh, that is correct. Catherine or Catherine? Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, the shy little girl, or Catherine, the extraordinary. Such valiance, <laughs> such bravery. And what does she like?
I'm feeling like if I did this in my classroom, there would be some people saying. Yep. I have some not stock responses to that. So the stock responses are you're thinking of someone else. I think you thought that I was talking about Catherine from French class. <laughs> Catherine from French class is, she is not smart. But this Catherine, I'm talking about this Catherine, and you don't ever, ever, ever even let under their breath them get away with that. And so you, you guarantee that every time, and you change actors every time, they start to get the message of, if you're gonna make fun of her, then the next time you're up here, it's gonna be, you're gonna get bullied. And you're talking about bullying. So you're talking about, is it okay in my class for students to bully each other? No, I'm just saying, I think it will happen. It how will you happen, how you do it, it doesn't matter if it happens. What matters is how you respond. It matters that you do not let them get away with it. So what are some more examples? That's, that's what I say. do. I think you're thinking of someone else. But a lot of times, my response is just. So, so if, if you're saying, if, is she a boy or a girl? And then they go, she's a boy, you know, then how would you, do you have a pat response for that? Yeah, the person's wrong. Like, don't you speak Spanish? You know, you make fun of that person who said that, okay. not, the, not the person. But yeah, especially when it's somebody who's, uh, you know, not, um, they can maybe possibly sensitive about that, and sensitive yeah. about anything, you've gotta be really careful. Yeah. But it, it's, so again, it's about your response. Okay, so first we compliment the character. Now, what do we mean next? Problem. Okay, so this is how I do. She has a problem. Catherine tiene un problema. And you say, oh no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or who's heard something else? Oh no, she, no, or? She's always going to rejoin us. Que, and you would go, tiene un problema, que, and he would hear. Que horror. Que horror. Love it. Que, que what do you do? Stephanie, oh, no. O-M-A. Okay. Oh, OMG. Yes, OMG. Uh, Stephanie, do you have one? Oh, oh no. Um, I saw some, um, uh, Sabrina's French class. Was anybody in that? Hers was a little different. It was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What's going on? It doesn't matter what you do, it matters that you have a student response every time. So, problem. She has a problem, and now you don't know what the problem is. Here's the information I have I know she went camping, I know she didn't have food. I know she loves Gerard de Produce, so that's, I know I'm going, where I'm going with having to solve it. But, problem, what's the problem? She doesn't have food where she's camping. Do I care about the restaurant? All right, so she's camping. My vocabulary is gives and throws. Gives and throws. Where is that going to come into my repetitions? In the problem or in the, in the solution? Gonna come in at solution probably. Can you think of a way for it to come in into the problem? What about gives her the wrong thing? Gives her the wrong That's thing? Yeah. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, okay, gives her the wrong thing and she throws it at him. So it's not that she doesn't have food, she just has terrible food. She tries to hunt the opposite animals. Uh, yeah, she moves there. She tries, oh, she okay. Tries to hunt animals it's, that's possible. You can go into a place where she tries to find her own food. Uh, okay, or someone gives her food and it's terrible food. All right, who wants to come up here and do this? And you need help. Come on, stag team, we're gonna get up and try it. Get up and try it, get up and try it. Be brave, somebody volunteer, and everyone else will applaud wildly.
is she doing? Donald Trump. A bear. Oh, Donald Trump. He doesn't give anything. The to monkey. <laughs> um, so we're not going to use Gerard de Perdue yet because we know that's the good ending to the story. So we just need the when she goes to the bad restaurant. Remember my skeleton. I know she's going somewhere, getting what she doesn't want. Going, getting somewhere, and getting what she does want. So who is a good um, someone who has come up in class already, personalized to someone else in the room? A uh, character who's already come up, an actor who's already come up, uh, somebody who's a lost character. How about someone from France because she's in France? Were there any characters from France? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you said. George Clooney. George Clooney. He's not from France. Yeah. I, just, I can go with fairy nature. I've got, I've got, fairy? I've got perfect, I've got perfect for fairy. Okay, so pick someone to be fairy. Okay. Uh, Please pick a girl. <laughs> As <laughs> old <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Jamie. Okay, an actress is coming up. You don't have to go back through and compliment them again, but you do have to get the class to support her when she comes up. Yay! If at this point one of these actors has a theme song, the class can sing the theme song. A lot of my students have theme song, like they're the hero, they're the superhero, they're the football player, they're the whatever they are that we all know, we have something we say when they come up. It's like, um, we, um, uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't get this, just that, the hero song, who's the, who writes the hero song? Uh, Spanish Rocky. singer. Uh, Enrique Iglesias. It's like the Enrique Iglesias hero song, like he sings the little theme song. Oh, 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 or oh, we oh, can oh, have oh. fairy, no fairy, now it's Hillary Clinton. Okay, Hillary Clinton, <laughs> she hijacked your story. <laughs> she hijacked your fairy it's, story. It's now. my story, not your story. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, mm -hmm. No, are you sure? Aww. She's really excited about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton could be a fairy. And I'm saying, like, there's good fairies and bad fairies. Your skeleton okay. doesn't have to hold on to all the control of the story. You only have to kind of hold on to the part that's important. That's right, I need help because I'm used to it is your story when they're trying to hijack and take it off to a direction that makes it not work because it leaves your structures. But that doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Fairy yeah, versus. I'm a bit of a oh, okay. She's going to be Hillary Clinton. Another problem. No, wait. This oh. is where you circle. Oh. She okay. gives. You've been waiting the whole story to get to that. Hillary Clinton, sorry, has chocolate yolk. 
flotiré mal. Flotiré. Okay. So this, this is what you're waiting for. This is where you circle. Circle. So I circle what? Circle. Ask this? questions. This is completely. She gives it to her. She, the, she gives the chocolate to her. You say once, and then you say gives it to her. So she has chocolate. Actually, I won't even, I won't even admit. It's not chocolate. It looks like chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's not chocolate. It's fairy food. Oh. Okay, you need your article. Don't be complicated. Because you need your article. And she gives it to Pat. Fairy food is masculine, feminine, singular, plural. <laughs> we got that. So. so we're going to call it feminine. Chocolate is feminine now. I got you. I got it. <laughs> and you she need gives the food gives it to, to huh? Kat. Right. Is it Kat? Can Catherine eat fairy Who food? Who gives it to Catherine? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Who gives it to Catherine? <laughs> Who gives the food to Catherine? Hillary. 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 Class. We'll go back to Hillary. Hillary, do you give the food to Catherine? My other problem, right? I don't think all of my actors do. Yeah. That's what this is getting. <laughs> Hillary, who do you give the food to? No, not me. <laughs> Give the food to Kathy. Okay, now stop saying food and start saying Give it to her. Give it to her. Hillary gives it to her. Who gives it to her? Right. Who gives it to her? Hillary. Remember this? Just Okay, just plow down that, but keep saying gives it to her. Okay. This is the only point of the this is the only because place in the story. Right. The only that's point in the story where you have to circle. So right? oh, okay. Okay. who gives it to her? Hillary. 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 What does she give to her? Chocolate. Fairy Feminine fairy chocolate. <laughs> she gives it to her. Where does she give it to her? France. In France. In France. In France. In France. Where in France? Where in France does she get it? The forest. Campground. At a campground in France. She gives it to her in France. When does she give it? Is it night or is it day? Night. 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 No, it's not, it's not night. You don't get to decide. I don't get to decide that. Isn't that different? You don't have to decide. You can get out of your head. You can just wait for the answers. You ask them. They say some stuff. It may be good. They confirm. If they get, you just pick the answer that you want. You have to listen. When does Hillary give, you, give it to you? The morning. Or should I stick to just give it to her since that's my structure? No, that's fine. When did, he, when did she give it to you? Class. She gave it to her in the morning. Oh. How? <coughs> How did she give it? On a stick. <laughs> on I a, give it to her on a stick. Class. That's great. She. Look. On a, she threw it. On a, on a sword? On a sword. It can still be a question. She's got proper uh, It can just be a question. On a sword? No, not a sword. But not you want me to get it. throw it. You want me to get through it, right? No. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, my idea for the skeleton is she gives it. She doesn't want it. She throws it back. Oh, okay. But you can have her throw it at her. I don't know why. That's all right. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Not at this moment. When I'm doing it, I would stay in present or stay in past. Okay. Or like, you, you know, you're doing that or like one, right, two, right, right. or three. Just you can say, one. she didn't want her to give it to her, and then you're in my past don't give it. It doesn't right, matter. Right. Whichever one you decide. Oh, you, it's yeah, really easy to pay attention to when you're teaching Spanish, and then when you switch to English, it's really hard to remember. Okay, go ahead. Why did she give it to her? She's hungry. Because she's hungry. Because she's hungry. She has no food. She gave it to her because she gave it to her because she didn't okay. like it herself. Okay. She wants to vote for her. Right. <laughs> she gave it to her because she wants to vote for her. She has a lot of votes. She has a lot of food. She wants to vote. Yeah, she wants to vote. The vote. Oh, she wants to vote. Oh, she wants to how she's getting votes. Okay, how are you? How do you feel? That was awesome. That was perfect. Hold on, that's why being practice is only that where you're trying to practice listening instead of trying to come up with a story. It was wonderful. I need to let go. Right, that's what we're practicing. Greg, tag someone in. Make eye contact with someone who's going to pick up right there where you left off. Mm -hmm. 
back to the United States. Stop it. Okay. Now, Catherine has a problem. She. She's hungry. She's hungry. She's hungry. Do you need to circle that? Is that a new structure or old structure? Old. So you don't need to circle it. You can ask questions to move yourself through that part of the story and move to where you're really making the rest. Okay. 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 So Hillary still has not Hillary. Sorry, Catherine. Catherine still has this problem. She needs food. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, 
from the boat? Yeah. Did you get it or you throw it from the boat? Oh! Did you get her the food or did you throw food to her? Okay, class. Gerard told me he gives her the food from the boat. Yes. He gives her the food from the boat. Yes or no? Yes? Yes. He did, yes. right? He gave her the food or he gave her the food? Who gave her the food? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So who gave her, who gave Catherine the food? Gerard. What did he give her? The food. The food. Um, did he give her the food or did he throw her the food? He gave her the food. He didn't throw her the food. Um, how did he give her the food? Romantically. Oh. oh. He gave her the food. Ro Oh, good friend. <laughs> Show us. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just good touch. And then do we end on a good note? I don't know. Right. Okay. Can I grab the end of the story? Aww. Is she happy? Yes. Yes, Catherine is happy or sad? telling your story. 
when you make the switch to whatever you say I'm going to listen to and it might change the story, it changes. Their student interest changes because you're really listening to the answers and trying to put them in the story. So you can still have the actress override it because you'd want to keep her safe. Like Catherine, if anybody had said uh, Antonio Banderas instead of Gerard Depardieu, would you have been as excited about the story? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody said Justin Bieber Sorry, instead of Driver yeah. Number Two, now the story's not interesting to her anymore. So you don't want to let your class take it in a direction that's not interesting to her. I feel the same about Antonio Banderas. So the skill that you're working on is the listening, and I don't think that uh, you lose them. And if it's new vocabulary, if it's new structure and new vocabulary, and you're um, and you're listening to them, I think it works. That's what I see. Works better than trying to work it off with a piece of paper, work it off with a completed, already done story. Okay, questions? <clears throat> Go ahead. Do you, how do you come up with your, your sort of mainline story arc so fast, but you're also trying to keep the classroom on pace, do it in 45 minutes? discipline in the classroom. I mean, kids come in, I have an idea what structures I want. I, I do some PQA, <coughs> pre-teaching, what mm -hmm. have you. You practice. At what, at what point do I think to myself, okay, I've got a four-sentence story on okay, you. Okay, you're going to walk into class. Let me go ahead and re, re, go ahead and re explain just this part. Okay, you have three ways to gather personalized information. Three ways to gather personalized information, and they are Inventories, asking questions, and you can find a lot of that on the in the, the draft of the book on the Fluency Fest website. Look up teacher resources and personalization. There's a lot of student interest inventory in there. How is a four-part skeleton built from the structures and a backward plan? You have a backward plan. You know what your structures are. You have a non-personalized story, four-sentence more or less story that uses those. So it gives. Through, you can say, okay, there's this, this is my idea. That structure is really easy to write. So the idea is done before the walk. Yes, and you're following the story arc. <laughs> Character, problem, quest, solution. How do you know what questions to ask to ask in a personalized story? What's the answer to that? Who, what, 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 where, when, you park in order, you skip the ones that don't work, and you park sideways, you park on one question. If you park all the way down, park on one question where your story will st you'll start to get ideas for the story that have personalized information. Practice asking your personal, uh, we already do that. How do we find the problem? Do you feel like you can find the problem in the story? What are the three problems? What do you need to make lack a problem? Lack. Lack, lack needs wants. Needs wants. Lack needs wants, that's it. How do we make the actor feel special? Do you feel like you can make the actor feel special mm -hmm. now? Practice that. Really get to where, because you're going to fail every once in a while at that because some kid will hijack it and it'll make them feel bad and you got to really work on practicing the technique of protecting your students. So what's the target time to shoot for? Like maybe my first story I don't feel very good at it. I should shoot for 15 minutes and then when I get really good with uh, developing these things and pulling the kids out, tw uh, 40 minutes, an hour? It, you do it, it works for you. Uh, mm -hmm. When I tell stories, I make them take a bathroom break first. I know that this is going to be a whole class. I'm going to start the story and I'm going to keep going till the end of class. If that means 45 minutes or 90 minutes, I'm probably going to fill it because the story is the most fun part. They're the most engaged, they're the most participatory. That's the part that works. Okay, so 15 minutes, I could just write 15 minutes. I, I can't even think of the words. I can't even think of a story that's short enough and easy enough that I could do it in 15 minutes. I wouldn't get any reps, I wouldn't get any language, I wouldn't get enough answers. So an hour maybe, like whatever class period is. Okay, how do we make that feel special? We got it, now wrapping up. Slideshows, where do you get the content for your slideshows when somebody says Gerard Depardieu? Google. Google. Internet, pull it down, you make it, put it in your celebrity slideshow. Um, where do you get slideshows of, slides of your students? Have them send them to you. If you don't do social media, have them just email them to you. Picture of you and your dog. Send me a picture of you, and then you've got PQA from slides that you can ask questions of your students. What about, oh, index cards on the wall. 
But let me do this really quick. This is my favorite activity. My kids get tested on each other. They don't get tested on anything else. They get tested on each other. So if you, uh, if in the class, if someone gives me information, now you've got all these index cards, I gather all that information and each kid has an index card. On one side I write their name. It's very important you don't miss anybody. So make sure you count and make sure that they match. The easiest way to do that is to pass out a card to every single person in the class, have them write their name on one side and pass it back. <coughs> that way you make sure you don't miss anyone. Then you write information on that card about that kid. It is written in this form. I am a French teacher in Atlanta, Georgia. I have used to live in Colorado. I um, like cats. Each one of those cards is first has personalized information that has come up in class, and I tape them on the in the hallway, up and down the hallway, and I number the cards. The kids then come in and they number paper one through 35, and they have to walk through the hallway, read the card, and write down the name of the person that it's describing. It was to Stephanie, by the way. Stephanie and I, you don't live in Atlanta? Yeah. Uh, you live in North, North. Atlanta. 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 Atlanta area. Stephanie and I taught together our very first year of teaching we, in Colorado in uh, 1842. <laughs> index cards on the wall, that's one. Posters on the wall. You can have students keep track of information for other students and then the information goes up on the wall and then you can always see, look, I had a whiteboard in one class that was a whole wall and I just had little squares for every kid. So when information came up, they would, someone would go write it up on the square. Oh, now we know she knows how to dance. And it was just little notes that became my index card information later. Depends on how much room you have in your classroom. Writing personalized stories. Um, as soon as you have a home run story, something that really works, write it down. You'll write it better than it came out in class, and then you fix it and you read it the next day. Uh, stories are 50% effective, 60% effective. This spinning a story on your feet, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to be okay with that. You provide a comprehensive input, you focus on the kids, it was personalized, they were engaged, win, even if the story didn't work, all right? Anybody ever done that? Tried to come up with a story and the story didn't work? Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Possible story plots, other st possible story plots. I told you about the seven. And then theme songs. I told you about that. I do the We Are the Champion kind of theme song for different kids. Okay. I want to make sure that you know where there are extra resources because I want you to be able to try this. There were two challenges that I gave you at the beginning. And one was if you haven't done this before, try it. What's the worst that can happen? Do it with a class that you really feel safe with. Like, Give them, give them a t some time at the beginning to get to know them and do some personalization, but don't try to do the spinning story on your feet. And then, uh, can you find uh, the second index card so I can pass them out? And then, uh, and, and then try, to try it with them. That's my first challenge. The second challenge is it's Thursday of a conference that ends tomorrow. I would really like you to get to know other people. Network with people, connect with people, really, really, realize that most of the resources in this community are in this building right now. And so the, the contacts that you make here are the people who are going to be your support system when you leave. The very first year that I was teaching, I had a support system in the form of email with Blaine Ray. That was back in the olden days when there weren't that many people doing TPRS, and that was an accessible way to do it. Now we do Facebook, the IFLT and TPRS CI teaching page, because one person can't answer all those questions, but there are 2,600 people on there and they all answer. So you get lots and lots of different um, answers. So if you're all on there, you can do that. As for support, find regional groups. There are regional groups now all over the country that are just coaching groups. So you try this, like, hey, I wanna give this a try. Can I try teaching you Mandarin? I'm gonna try and do, spin a story on my feet. It's a lot easier to not do it in English if <laughs> you can do it with a group of people. Okay, I have, you have an index card in your hand. You need to leave room for your name and email address and the answer to three questions. Name and email address and the answer to three questions. When you send me your, give me your email address, I will send you stuff as I finish it. There are two things that are about to happen. One is the personalization webinar. Um, I have done a webinar on how to write a novel and I've done one on uh, Reader's Theater and now I have been 
promising to do a non-personalization for a long time, but I never really know that it's gonna work, and so I wait till I present it, and then I do the webinar right after. So it should come up soon. The, I need, the webinar is free for the people who attend it in person, like log in while I'm doing it, because then you can ask questions and interact, and it works, and then that, then it gets put on the website, and then it's for sale. So you want to be in the, on the email list, so if you want to, you can log in. We had people logging in from Spain last time, and they were, it was 1 o'clock in the morning there. What's the time? Hmm? You don't, you don't, I don't even know what day, or what month, but I'll send you an email. Okay, here are the questions. What can I do with this presentation to make it better when I do it again four times next week? What could I make more clear? What would have made it a stronger experience for you? What, what, what balance, what could I cut out so that there's more uh, time for whatever else? What was most valuable? Yeah, that's, well, what, what's your suggestion? How can I make it better? Second question. When you leave this room and walk down the hallway, what will you tell someone else about this workshop? What would you tell someone else about personalization? Questions did I not answer is the third question. What do you still have left? You have two sides of the card. Is there anything that I didn't answer? Any questions that you have that I that you that are still kind of rolling around that you wish we'd had some more time for that perhaps I can address in a different <coughs> format later? What are your questions about personalization? And then show me when you're done writing what your level of confidence is that you can do it. Personalization in your classroom in any format, what's your level of confidence? I think I missed the third question. Question, any questions you still have about personalization? What's your level of confidence? Two out of five, three out of five, I can do this. I think I'm gonna try some kind of personalization in my class, some kind of personalization. Spinning a story on my feet. Four, Ooh. so three, four on, I can spin a story on my feet, or I'll try it, and, fi and five oh, on personalization ten. in my class. I thought it was out of 10. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I thought you were asking us a scale. You want to stay for remedial, no. like three of you? <laughs> we used to 10. I thought you were asking one through 10. Level of confidence, one, two, three, four, five on these two things. Level of confidence on, I'm going to use personalization in my class. Yeah. Five, 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 five. One way or another, there's three ways to do it. Level of confidence on, I am gonna try spinning a story on my feet. No planning, no preparation, just vocab. Oh, am I gonna try? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Backward plan or vocab structures? No, backward plan and the structures, yeah. When I'm saying spinning a story on my feet, I'm not saying just walk in and talk. <laughs> Some people would say that, I wouldn't say that. Five, four, four, three, four, four. Do you know that all of your answers, three, four, and five, 100% of your answers are above 50%? You're better than me. <laughs> awesome, thank you very, very much. This has been so much fun and I really hope you got something you can take out of it. But you will hear from me. As soon as I get back from NTPRS, you will hear from me. And so if you don't, it's because something's wrong with your email address. I wanna check over your handwriting. Thank, thank you. you. Stop. Finish. No, it's oh, the last year. No, a couple oh, years ago. Oh, there it is. Yeah.